Gail Davis was at the concert when the shooting started. She joins us now from Las Vegas. Gail, I can't imagine how you are feeling at this second. I'm so glad that you can join us right now. What can you tell us about what you saw, what happened? Oh, well, it's kind of just shocking what, you know, you don't expect something like this. Um, we went there to see Jason Aldean, really. Um, it was a three-day show, and we went there to see Jason. Um, he's my favorite singer. And uh, we got there, and we were standing, like, maybe halfway up and uh, just waiting for him to come on stage. He came on, and about 20 to 10, and we were just listening to him. He sang about five songs, and all of a sudden, we just heard, like, three or four little pop, pop, pop. And everybody kind of looked around and said, oh, it's just firecrackers. And then we heard pop, 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 and it just kept going and going. And my husband said, that's not firecrackers. That sounds like a semiotic rifle. And then um, everybody started screaming and started to run. And I looked over to my right where this girl had been standing right beside me. And uh, she had fallen. And it was first she stood there and she grabbed her stomach. And she looked at her hands, her hands are all bloody. And then uh, she's wearing like a little crop top and, you know, blue jean shorts and cowboy boots. And she looked at her hands, her hands are bloody. And she just kind of screamed and she just fell back. And then everybody started yelling and there were some guys there. And we just started jumping up and down, like waving for help, help. And then all of a sudden we just heard a whole bunch of shots fired and people started running. And so. My husband said, get down, get down. And so we, we, we bent down and everybody was just running, just straight up. And you could see people getting shot and people falling. And then uh, my husband said, Gail, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta get out of here, we're gonna get shot. And so we started running and there was the little, I don't know where the concession stands are, mm -hmm. and little cubicle kind of things of tents. And we started to run and a, a, a Metro officer who I owe my life to grabbed us and he said, come here, come here, get in here, get in here. So we went running inside and the lights were on and everything else was dark. They turned the stage lights off and everything and we went running in there and he said, get down. And so we got down and I was there. My husband was in front of me and there was a, another two ladies behind us. And the officer actually covered me up to protect me from being shot because I couldn't get out all the way. And it was like you could hear the shots just like going back and forth and ricocheting. And, uh, the, it, and then they would stop. And then we thought, okay, it's over, it's over. And then it would start again. And this happened a couple times. And the officer stood up and I heard on his radio say, we have active shooters. And he, I heard him say, oh God. And then uh, he walked out to look around and uh, he had his gun out and he was looking around and uh, he, then it started shooting again and he came running back in and, and covered me up again. And then it, the, it, the shooting just would stop. Like they were, re, he or she, whoever was re refilling or whatever you call it, reloading. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he said, we need to get out of here. We got to get you out of here. So we went to another little tent and stood in there or we laid down in there and again that officer was with me he never he's like my guardian angel he never left me and um we could hear the the shots getting closer it seemed and my husband um got hit like with some shrapnel and he goes kale i got i uh think i got some some of the i don't know what you call it lead or something mm -hmm. and he goes feel how hot it is and he put it on my arm and uh, we kind of waited, and then the, it, it's, the shooting kind of stopped because it kept stopping like they were refilling or something or reloading. And so then the, the officer said, we need to get you out of here. you got to get out of here. Stay low. So we went to get out the back, and we couldn't get out because there was like a door or something. So we pushed it down. He pushed it down for us, and we ran out. And he said, stay out of the light. Just run, just run and keep down, keep down. And as we're running, there's people laying everywhere. People were bleeding. One guy was um, holding his girlfriend or wife or I don't, woman, and uh, he was crying and saying, oh God, baby, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, it's my fault. And I think she had been shot in the head because he was just covered with blood. And and we, we ran, we ran, and every, there was just ambulances and police cars everywhere. It was, Gail, it was heartbreaking, you were painting, it was unreal. You were painting an incredible story. I am so sorry. We're all sorry that you had to go through something like Thank this. You. It sounds absolutely terrifying. How long did this shooting seem to last to you? 
well, it seemed like a long time, but maybe only 10 minutes it seemed, you know, maybe 15 minutes. It just, it seemed forever, but then again, it was like so fast. It, it, your mind plays tricks on you, and it's mm -hmm. hard to say, but it was most, I've never been that scared in my life. Kale, how many my life ever. people were in the area where you were watching? Oh, it was packed. It was packed because, you know, Jason Aldean is just like the number one singer. And, and uh, everybody, he was the last singer for, for the venue and for the show. And so everybody was there having a good time. It was packed. I don't know, thousands. It, it was just packed, you know, everywhere. And Gil, where's the, the officer who helped you? Where Do you know where he, he is now? No, I, I saw his face, and I, I'm going to try to go down to Metro and see if I can find him and look at his pictures because he, he saved me, I know, because, I, you know, I just, the girl that got shot was right next to me. I don't know. I, I wish I can find him. I'm going to try to find him and tell him thank you. And of course, that, that police Metro officer. That's amazing. That police officer, like you said, a guardian angel for, for you and your husband there. Can you describe the rest yes. of the scene, though, in, in terms of security? How, how quickly did you see first responders run towards the scene and start helping the wounded? Almost immediately. Metro was there. They're, they're always right there you know they're metro is such an amazing police force and they were right there um ambulances were coming we had ambulances everywhere there were police cars everywhere and the the police officers were helping the other concert goers were helping everybody um it was just amazing we all came together and everybody was helping everybody it was it was wonderful to see and i just love metro i'm just so proud of them yeah a lot of people are giving big kudos to the las vegas police department it would not apparently have made a difference in this particular shooting but did you have to go through any sort of security device when you went into the concert today uh no well yeah when you walk through they look at your you know i didn't have anything because i you know i don't carry anything i have yes. my chapstick but um no no they they'll look at your backpacks and stuff but it, they're, it's secure it's very secure and my husband saw the shots from um, mandalay bay they were like a little bit above halfway a little bit higher up and he could actually see like lights flashing like like he and then it. they said that the yeah he saw this the, the where the shooter was yeah, you know, so, yeah. I, I can tell, and I know this is traumatic. I'm sure that you are still in quite a bit of shock. But have you been able to wrap yes, your no. brain around that you went to a Jason Aldean concert, of all things, and this happened to you? This seems like a terrible <laughs> movie. I know, I know. I, I mean, I saw Jason San Bernardino last year, and, you know, he's just amazing. And my husband kind of surprised me, and because we didn't go the first two days, and then he said, well, let's go see Jason. And he got his tickets and the little wristbands, you know, and it was a wonderful surprise. And, and to have this happen, you know, it's, I, I, just, I just can't wrap my mind around it, like you said. And Jason, uh, this is hard. Jason posted a Facebook message to, to all of those fans like yourself who were there uh, to see him. And we spoke with uh, another performer who was on stage right before him, Jake Owen, who said that he had seen children uh, in the crowds as well, sitting on their parents' shoulders. D did you get a sense of how many children uh, were at the concert. Uh, we know it was around 10 p.m., but but clearly there are music fans in, in all ages, and parents do bring them to these kind of concerts. Yeah, yeah uh, Jason's just a great all-around singer, and he's such a, a good guy. And you know, he has two daughters himself, and you know, Brittany's his wife expecting a baby in a couple months. And everybody, he's so wholesome. Everybody loves him. And there were kids there, and I remember one lady was just screaming, and she's going, "I can't find my daughter. I can't find my daughter," because. And I don't know if she found her, or she made it, or anything. It just—it was just like chaos. It was just—it was just crazy. You know, Gail. When we talked to Jake yeah, Owen earlier today, he said that he hopes that people will still continue. That he's going to get back on stage and perform. He hopes that anyone who was yeah. at the concert will continue to do so. That we won't uh, let a coward, as he says, change our way of life. How are you feeling about that? Oh, no, I, I, no I'll, I'll still go. Of course I'll go. I think I'll be a little more on guard. Mm -hmm. But you can't foresee something like this. You can't expect this. But, no. you know, I, I'll go again. I'm sure we all love all our country artists, and we're all going to go again. We support them. We love them.
Right, Especially yeah. Jason. Well, well Gail, Gail, that police <laughs> officer you. was a hero, and it sounds like your husband was a hero as well for having a peace of mind to recognize yes, that those was. weren't uh, firecrackers, that they were, in fact, gunshots. We wish him the best in his recovery from the shrapnel wounds. Gail, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.